it's dark on the out. What up everyone, it's me, your girl. So today we're gonna be doing all drugstore makeup. People have been requesting me to do a drugstore makeup tutorial, which I love getting requests because I feel legit. Today's gonna be like a super, super, super in-depth look at how to do your own makeup. So it might be a little bit longer today. It might not be as insane or crazy or whatever, but I really want to teach you guys like a little bit in more detail of how I do things. Let's just get this shit pop in. I got the Maybelline City Mini Palette. Now I just went to my first love Walmart. We are, we are Walmart. All my friends are the shadiest people ever and they're like, ew, why do you like Walmart? Because I do. Now they have like a bunch of different palettes. I just wanted something rosy, something beautiful, something soft and glam. This palette is the 510 Blushed Avenue. I haven't even tried like this palette at all. We're gonna be starting off with the purple and so just take some on your flat brush and we're gonna be going just on the corners. Like I said in other videos, you just kind of want to pack mattes on. So with any shimmers, we're gonna spray them, we're gonna wet them, but with mattes, it's best to just pack them on. And like I always say, slow and steady wins the race. Because I understand it's so annoying. Like you just want to put this shit on and get the f out of the house, but like you can't do it. And now I'm slightly just going out with it. Since we don't have foundation on, it's okay if it falls all over our faces. And just keep patting your life away. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go over the edges of that. No big deal. I'm just gonna dye here, blending. It's like almost gone, except for the parts where I packed it on. Now we're just gonna go back in and then blend again. I'm gonna leave the middle with nothing on it, but I'm gonna take this same purple and I'm gonna put it in my inner corner. And I'm gonna start dragging it up a little bit and then blend. And I'm just doing like small little circles right here. You like kind of wanna give yourself a black eye. <laughs> These two guys are gonna be your best friends, and so just keep going back and forth. And now I'm just gonna slowly drag it back. There's like almost no product on my brush. And do you guys see where I'm holding it? Do not hold your brush like a pencil because you're gonna put so much pressure. Because think about it like a pencil. If you tried writing with a pencil like this, people would think you're insane and you would like barely touch the paper because it's so light. Now, whenever we do makeup, it's the opposite. So hold it over here, wherever you want, just as long as you don't hold it by the ferrule. And by the way, this is called a ferrule. And then since we don't really have that much product on it, we're going out and then take our fluffy brush and just blend. I'm just gonna do small little circles. I'm gonna go back in the center one more time. And then whenever I go in the center, I kind of drag it up. So center. And when you do the other eye, it doesn't matter what side you start with. You can start with the inner corner, you can start with the outer corner, it's up to you. And by the way, every like, I don't know, two minutes or so, I keep pulling it back with my finger, just like I did on this eye. Sometimes when it's just all blended out, you don't really know where you're going, it just becomes a huge mess. So it's okay to like keep that outline, I guess, of where you wanna go. And every other two minutes, I like to just clean my fluffy brush just to take off the excess because it will build up when you're blending so much and then it'll just make a mess. When I'm packing it on, I like to just kind of go, I don't know, like little baby steps towards that general direction. Pack, and I'll go a little bit out. But only with the excess from the brush. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So I clean my brush, and then I'm just gonna blend out the edges from like our little wing. So do top and bottom. 
like most of my friends in Mexico City. <laughs> this is like a cheap ass brush. For real, I don't even know where I got it from. It's like a harder, fluffy brush, and I'm just doing that to blend out the corners. So since I only want to blend the insides, I need something smaller and more compact in order to get it. All right, so I'm gonna take a generous amount. Okay, this shade is beautiful. And I'm just gonna pack it on the lid. You guys, I wish you could feel how horny I am right now because I love shimmers like this. I know it's just makeup, but I'm about to tear up. This is a beautiful shade. Oh my, mm. can you guys tell? Like there's like an indent over here. And when it indents like that, it's because it's buttery, it's creamy. Like think about like warm butter. Okay, I'm so hungry right now. But think about like warm butter, like when you like, like put your finger in it, not that I do this ever. Take it and then spray it afterwards just so it's that much more pigmented and just keep packing it on. And then when we get to this top part over here, take like little baby steps and go up. You guys, it's beautiful. And I'm just gonna take my big ass fluffy brush and just blend the top lightly, super lightly. And then just take your fluffy brush and blend again. And then we're gonna take this one. Oh, this shade's beautiful too. It reminds me of Orgasm by NARS. And then I'm gonna go over the parts that I just did, like in the center center with this lighter shade. I'm like so wet right now. You guys, this looks beautiful. Don't spread it all over the lid because we just want it in the center. pretty and then we're gonna go back in with the dark again you don't need to spray it because it's matte and go over the matte again when there's barely anything on your brush start doing baby steps inwards you see how far I'm holding my brush just super light do you guys see how the purple just kind of like reinforced how much I'm that bitch now let's do the same on the other side I'm sorry if you guys can hear like sirens. It's just that someone called the cuffs on me because I look so good. <laughs> Such a mom joke. <laughs> now with like almost nothing on the brush, I just lightly, lightly, please. I lightly blend on top, like super light, like almost nothing to the point where if you skip the step, it would be okay. But this is just that little, mm, you know what I mean? Everyone's like, no, we don't know what that was, please, no. And then I'm gonna take my big ass fluffy brush and just lightly blend the top of that. Okay, so from this palette, I really do like the shimmers. I love these two shades. The purples, eh, and these suck. I believe this palette was like $10, and that's not that cheap. If I pay $10 for this palette, I want all of these bitches to work. There's only six shades in here. They're not that big. $10 for a little ass, it's like a credit card. Okay, it'd be like a big ass credit card, but it's still, it's like almost like a credit card. I'm gonna put my hair back just because I'm gonna do my foundation. Now you guys, it's like, insanely scary how many sexy ass gay men I have watching my videos in Mexico City that are judging my hair constantly. You guys know who you are. I'm looking right at you, bitch. You guys, I'm trying, I'm slowly trying, but people are still shady out here, so. Clean up underneath. And now that I'm like looking at it like super, super, super up close, I think the two shadows in the center, they blended like a dream, they were so nice, but the purple one just kind of sucks. It's really hard to make a lot of like purples, a lot of blues, red, greens. <laughs> any f color. There's a lot of brands that can't do purple as well. So for a drugstore purple, I think it's okay, but you can just tell it doesn't really blend that much. The hell, this like purple eyeshadow like sucks dick a little. It's like patchy. Like I said, it's okay for drugstore, but damn. Just try to blend it out. Oh my God, and the more that I blend it out, the more it comes off. So now there's like a legit hole right there. I'm gonna take a flat brush, try to go over it. Ew, yeah, I think the more I blend, the patchier it becomes. So let me go back at this bitch again. I f hate these three. Now, we're done. F 
this purple. I like these three. So three out of the six shades that come in this bullshit aren't that nice. I understand it's purple, but it shouldn't be like that. Would I recommend this palette? Probably not. Do I think that this palette is worth $10? Hell no. I'm gonna come in with Glamouflage Hard Candy. This is in light. Uh, a quick little thing, if you guys like the grungy look, then for sure buy this palette. You will look like you've been drinking all night. And then with the concealer, oh my, are you guys scared right now? With the concealer, I'm just gonna kinda clean up the corners a little bit. All right, next I'm taking Fit Me Foundation. This is dewy and smooth. This is my favorite drugstore foundation ever. I love it. I buy in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. Now it's like two, three shades darker than I am. However, I like to catfish people. Oh my god, you guys, I have three things from Maybelline. Oh, I'm like really embarrassed right now. No, I'm kidding. See, I do like Maybelline. Okay, oh my god. Okay, see, now I don't feel bad at all for what I said about the palette because I do buy Maybelline things. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm like an angel. <laughs> For years, I've been buying like a shade darker. Like really like two, three, five shades darker. I was in high school during the Jersey Shore days. That's where I really practiced makeup. Whenever I do my makeup, I really like having a more bronzed look. I just like it. Now get down on your neck, just cause we don't want to be a two-tone bitch. You can, you can be whatever you want. Now I'm gonna very, 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 carefully blend the shadow into the foundation. I'm just gonna very lightly blend out the edges. I'm like scared of this purple, y'all. Okay, so before we do bronzer or anything, I'm gonna let my foundation kind of soak in a little bit because it's so wet right now, just like me. <laughs> so inappropriate. So curl your lashes with whatever lash curler you have. I've mentioned this before. This is the Shiseido eyelash curler. This is my favorite eyelash curler. It really does work miracles. And I always just keep it on here for like 10 seconds. And some people like close it and then they like to go up. Ow, I almost just ripped my eyelashes off. Like I was gonna say, I never do that because I almost always, almost rip my lashes off. Okay, so this is my favorite, 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 blah, 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 favorite mascara ever. This is L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is in waterproof because my lashes like to just go straight all the time. I use this mascara on like everyone. Not this particular one, but before I even go up, I always just focus on my roots more just so I get a thick base. Now that we have like a bunch of mascara on our roots, this is for my girl Grease. We're gonna go out on the outer corner, up in the center, and then go in on the inside. Now I'm gonna do my bottom lashes, so look down, look in the mirror, and open your mouth like an idiot. Can anyone do that without opening their mouth? I'm gonna try. I hate it. I bought with this beautiful f sensor on the back. This is what I hate about drugstores. I like these sensors. I can't ever rip these bitches off. Like, I literally just ripped it off. Okay. <laughs> do you guys know how hard I tried to rip it off before this video? <laughs> Damn it. This is Fit Me Bronzer. This is in deep load. What? Whatever, it's Fit Me Bronzer by Maybelline again. Okay, Maybelline needs to sponsor me. All right, so I have some of my brush. Since we don't know how pigmented it is, I just put some on the back of my hand and I just tap it on. And then when you're done tapping, now it's safer to go in in swirls. It's definitely not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. And I'm pretty pale, so I can't imagine anyone with a deeper skin tone than mine being able to use, because this was the darkest one that I found. The fact that it's like a pretty good bronze on me means that someone even a little bit darker than I am won't even be able to use the bronzer, which I think is kind of crazy. Yeah. It's pretty light. Like look, I'm like swirling the shit out of it and then I didn't even tap it. It like doesn't come off that dark. And you guys just saw me like swirling it in there. That's so crazy. All right, so I'm gonna get under my lips. I'm gonna put some on the bottom of my nose and on top of my nose too. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend all that out. Now that we're done with all that, I'm gonna go into these two with my brush. So I just have the eyeshadows. Okay, <laughs> I put too much on right here. I mean, it's okay, don't freak out. Do not, whatever you do, don't say, oh shit, I have too much, and then go back in with your brush and try to fix it, because it's gonna be a mess. So whenever you put too much, 
just blend it out with your beauty blender or brush or whatever. And there, it's like a nice little pink shade now. And I didn't add any more product and I'm going on the other side. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pink on my nose just because I want everyone to know that I have rosacea. I'm just gonna go on top of that with my beauty blender. I have to use a beauty blender because that's how I taught myself and that's how I was raised. So I got this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil Crayon. God damn, say that three times fast. This is in Rich Brown. This pencil was like super chalky. It wasn't creamy. And I know I keep saying the word creamy and you guys are probably like all like super horny, but with this brow, I'm gonna try to do it with my Yves Rocher Eyebrow Pencil 12 Hour Precision. Why do I keep saying precision like that? Precision? Whatever. Let me just try it. This one is in Brun. I feel like my eyebrow is gonna be darker on this side, not because of the color, but just because of how many times I feel like I had to go over it. And you can see where my hand is, where my finger is here, and I'm barely touching it, and there is a lot of pigment. Yeah, I definitely like this one better. Ugh, I'm sorry. There's something powdery about it. Maybe it's I need to work with it more. I'm gonna keep both, obviously, because I'm so cheap. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna put it in my personal makeup. I don't think I would use this on my clients. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just being picky. Okay, lips. All right, so I picked up Essence. This is in the shade, I don't know, this color. It's in this color shade. Ew, it's like too matchy. I'm not putting this on. Okay, so this is Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Ultimate. It's made in Germany, by the way. I don't know what that means. And I'm not trying to be too perfect with it, because I'm just kind of blending it out with my finger anyway. So I'm just going on top of where my natural line is. Like, if this is still my lip. I'm just kind of exaggerating it a little bit. This is my Maybelline. Jesus Christ, how many things from Maybelline am I using? This is from Maybelline. This is the Superstay Matte Ink in Amazonian. And I'm just gonna do a, like a light stain. Just tap it on there, and then with my finger, This is my favorite lip gloss ever. This is Essence, this is Shine, Shine, Shine. I love this gloss, so let's do this. You guys wanna hear this sound? Is anyone turned on? Oh my God, this looks beautiful. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I used to do at shoots. Well, actually sometimes I still do it at shoots. So I'll take my lip gloss and I have some like on the back of my hand and I like pat it out and then I'll highlight with it. Do you guys remember that Tom Ford palette that I told you about that was $88 I got this shit for like $4 max and it does like the same thing. Do you guys see how beautiful that is? And we're not swiping because if we swipe, Goodbye foundation, goodbye hard work, goodbye life. If I pet on top of it, it's awesome. But if I start swiping, do you see how it moves everything? And that's the same exact thing with your face. So just always tap on. Look how beautiful it is. And that's such a cheap highlighter. And you guys, you guys, this is our drugstore makeup look. Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? So anyways, I hope you guys had an amazing time with me today. I hope you guys were educated today because bitch, we need some education up in this world. If you guys liked this video, then please subscribe so we can keep things real up in makeup because sometimes I'm sick of seeing perfect ass people do makeup. At the end of the day, it's just makeup. Let's just play, let's have fun, let's be a little ratchet, who cares? I hope you guys have a nice day and stay safe, stay warm. It's summer so never mind thanks guys bye my friend told me that I should start doing end of the video looks Thanks guys, bye.